Hello guys, welcome back to learning microcontrollers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to interface a PIC16 FA77A microcontroller with an LDR sensor. So let's get started. This is our PIC16 FA77A microcontroller having 40 pins. It's a DIP version. This is our LDR sensor having two, two pins only. Name one as in, other as ground. You can shuffle these two pins as you like, doesn't matter. To interface this LDR with a PIC, we need a 10 kilo ohm resistor. Now let's do the connections pin in that is one pin of the LDR will go to the common 5 volt that is VCC pin from the other pin that is a ground pin I am taking out my ADC value that and you can use any available ADC pin I am using pin A0 that is pin 2 of the pick then from the same ground pin you send a wire to that one end of the 10 kilo ohm resistor and then the other end of the 10 kilo ohm resistor will go to the common ground in this way our LDR connections are complete now to display the output and also for the purpose of calibration I am going to use this 16 into 1 LCD having no backlight to interface this LCD we need a 3 pin variable resistor to adjust the contrast and now let's do the connections this LCD has 16 pins if you hold it like this pin number 1 to 16 from left to right you connect pin number 1 and 5 of the LCD to pin number 1 of the variable resistor then you send it to the common ground then you connect pin number 3 of the LCD with pin number 2 of the variable resistor to adjust the contrast then you connect pin number 2 of the LCD with pin number 3 of the variable resistor and then it goes to common 5 volt supply it will power up the LCD then for pin number 4 that is RS pin you can use any available digital input output pin of the PIC16 FA77A I am using pin number 15 that is C0 for 6 that is enable I am using C1 for 11 that is D4 I am using C2 for 12 that is data pin 5 I am using C3 for D6, D0 and for D7 I am using D1 in this way our connections are complete now this these pins 7 8 9 10 and 15 16 will go empty because 7 8 9 10 are for 8 bit mode while we are using 4 bit 15 and 16 are for the backlight and as told earlier this lcd has no backlight now what's going to happen is that when i will run this code i am going to use an led which will demonstrate when there is darkness in the room and when there is light in the room i connect this led at pin number b7 now when the program is run when LDR is in the light then LED is off and we get some random values on the screen which we will use to calibrate this in a way that when there is darkness in the room like it's dark LED will turn on and when there is we are in the light we will further calibrate in such a way that it LCD will display in light and LED will be on like when there is light in the room LDR receiving light then LCD displays in light and LED is off but when it's opposite like it's uh, LDR is in the dark then LCD displays dark and LED turns on so guys let's get to programming this is our micro C for pick let me zoom it in a bit so you click on file new new project next write any name to your project I write LDR learning microcontrollers one and select your microcontroller I'm using PIC16 FA77A I'm using a 20 megahertz crystal click on next 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 and finish now guys first of all we need to initialize our LCD for that purpose you go to library manager here on the right you go to LCD there you have LCD INIT double click it there in the LCD INIT command you have an example in the example you see he is showing you how to interface a 4-bit LCD spin so you copy this till here and then you place it above the void main here you can see RS pin is defined as B4 while we are using C0 so we simply use him to change it EN is at C1 D7 at D1 D0 C3 and C2 Similarly, for the pin directions, RS is at C0, EN at C1, D1 for D7, D0 for D6, C3 and C2 for D4. So this is our pins are initialized. Now we initialize the LCD. To initialize the LCD, right? LCD INIT. This command initializes the LCD, gives some initialization delay. 1000 that is one second will do fine now we are also using ADC pins so
so in, it, it means that we will need to initialize all the ADC pins of the pack for that use this command ADC INIT this will initialize all the ADC pins of the pick and give some initialization delay as well one second will do fine and we are also using an LED uh, that will turn on when room uh, when there is darkness in the room we initialize it as well it is at B7 it means trace B dot F7 equals to 0 it means that pin number B dot F7 is now that is pin number B7 is output pin we are using 0 here it means output and initial state of this pin should be 0 that initially it must be off when we run the code now give some initialization delay 100 will do fine now LED is initialized LCD is initialized and our ADC pins are initialized now we go for our forever loop write this while one starting bracket and give it an ending bracket give it a good shape okay first of all we need to see values from the LDR for that purpose initialize the variable int LDR it will store the value from LDR and since we cannot display int directly on the screen we need to convert it to a char so or, or a string we make an array of like LDR 1 5 char 6 chars to make a string it means this can store 6 characters 0 1 2 3 4 5 now to receive value from the LDR we need a command go to library manager use this command in the ADC you have ADC read you go there you copy this paste it here now we are using our variable LDR I, we had initialized it and ADC read from which channel we are using pin A0 that is channel 0 so from channel 0 it will receive the ADC value that is LDR and we store it in the LDR now we need to display it on the LCD and LCD cannot display uh, integers directly for that purpose we need to convert it to a char int to str LDR to LDR1 this will convert LDR to LDR1 that is char value in this will go in this so you give some initialization delay 100 will do fine also give delay after this now we need to display it on the LCD and we do not want the cursor first of all we remove the cursor you go to library manager you go to LCD CMD in this you have this command LCD cl CMD clear you copy it you paste it where you initialize LCD here now you go back again LCD CMD now in this available LCD command table you find the command L turn off cursor you copy it now you copy it paste it here it will turn off the cursor give some initialization delay 100 will do fine okay now uh, we can display this on the LCD you write LCD out 1 start writing from first row first column what you should write LDR 1 okay now you give some uh, for how long the value should be displayed on the screen before it changes you give some delay like delay ms 500 will do fine and then after displaying the value LCD should clear up for the next values for that you go to LCD CMD command you copy this LCD CMD LCD clear you paste it here this will clear the LCD after the values are being displayed ok give some initialization delay also it's a good practice to clear the screen before the code starts if there are any ragbag values they will get cleared so guys this is our code for the purpose of calibration we will use this code to calibrate like we will get a threshold value and then we will use that value to calibrate our sensor so click on build the code is being built now let me introduce you to the hardware this is our LDR and this is our 10k resistor you can see that connected in the same formation and this is our PIC16 F877M microcontroller having 40 pins DIP version and this is a 16 into 1 LCD and this is the variable register I had just used. Now let's get to programming. Okay, so uh, first of all you go to PIC3 programmer you erase any code being burned. If there is any code in the PIC you delete it you go to file import the code we just wrote this one no this is not the code 
LDR Learning Microcontroller 1 open, click on write. Ok, the code is being written. Let it write. Ok, the code is burned. Now we give it 5 volt from the picket 3. Click on. Ok, the code is running now. Ok, you see we are getting values on the screen this is the LDR now it means that when we are in the normal light we get value like 720 715 I turn it up to the more light see the value start increasing now we are getting more light when I move it down like in the dark okay values drop value drops when I go to okay I press it to the paper it's below uh, you can say 600 and when it's in the light it's above 600 so for this room the calibration threshold can be taken as 600 like when the values are below 600 it's in the dark and values are above 600 it is in the light. So guys uh, our calibration is done we had taken our threshold that is 600. Now go back to the programming. Now here let me zoom in. Here after receiving the value after you receive the value you write if LDR that is a value uh, receiving variable is greater than 600 it means we are in the light and when it is less than 600 it means we are in the dark so we write less than so when we are less than 600 it means that is port B dot F7 equals to 1 that means when we are less than 600 we are in the dark and LED at port B7 will turn on as shown in the presentation give some delay for how long the LEDs remain on 50 then then our LCD will also display the output value that is right that it is at row 1 column 1 it displays something called dark as shown in the presentation that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 make it 8 characters so nothing goes wasted it is for the purpose of avoiding random values when we overwrite else you can also use a clear command as well so in this way what is gonna happen is that when LDR value is below 600 LED will turn on and LCD will display dark now when opposite happens that is else else in any other case that is uh, any other case is the value above 600 what happen is that you copy it paste it port B dot F7 that is LED will remain off in light like else if it's not dark then it's light and it displays in light 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so they are 8 digits complete row so guys in this way we get our values now since we are overwriting the values we do not need this clear command we do not need to uh, display the random values because that is that was only for the purpose of calibration and we do not need to con convert integer to string because we do not need it we had done the calibration already now this is our new final code click on build button okay it's built now we again burn it and let's see what happens go back to hardware and burner you erase the previous code click on erase again you go back select the code you just wrote this one click on write okay the new code is being written let it write okay okay it says in light yes our LDR is in the light okay let me uh, minimize this okay LDR is in the light as you can see it says in light so now I go to dark make it clear the LED see when it's in the dark LED turns on and it displays dark again it's in light now again I do the same see it's in dark see the, our calibration is done successfully and LDR is working as it should work see it's in light and when you can also turn off the light of the room it will happen same it's in light and now it's in dark LED turns on see 
it's in light now dark LED turns on so guys in this way you can easily interface an LDR now you can use a relay to turn on the real light instead of using this LED so guys I hope you learned something from this video thank you very much for your time and have a nice day goodbye